How to create an EOS account with a custom name. What is going on guys? My name is Rob. Welcome into the channel. In this one, we're going to be going over how to create an EOS account with a custom 12 character name. Before we get into this, I do want to announce that we will be doing a video on Grey Mass's EOS Voter Desktop Wallet. So if you are interested in that, please make sure to subscribe. This update includes a cold storage option as well as airdrop support. So again, if you are interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We will be doing a video on this very shortly. Now, what we're all here for creating an EOS account with a custom name. This is not name bidding. This is creating a custom 12 character name the default 12 characters, but creating it in a custom fashion, not just a string of random characters. So for this example, we'll be using eostoolkit.io. Right here, their create account section, that is what we're on. Now you will need scatter in order to use eostoolkit.io. And to connect your scatter to this website, just come up here and hit, click attach account, then click connect account your scatter will pop up and select an account you want to use. Now you will need EOS in this account because it does cost EOS to create a new account because you have to put EOS into your stake as well as any RAM that you buy. So you will need EOS in order to create a new account. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this account here, select identity, accept. Now this account is connected. And here it is right here, H-E-Z-D, H-E-Z-D. The account is now in the creator section. The account is connected. So from here, what we need to do before we can create a new name is get a public and private key for this account. So in order to do that, just come up to your scatter, go to key pairs, and create a new key pair here just name it whatever you want um, the name I'm gonna be going for here the name I want to create is the name just I'm gonna use for this key pair so I'm gonna be creating send EOS to Rob I am Rob and if you want to send me some EOS I'm gonna create the account and send EOS to Rob <laughs> So, to generate a new public and private key, you just got to come down here and click Generate Key Pair. It'll generate it for you. Now, what you want to do is come down here and click Copy in order to be able to see your private key and paste that somewhere. And once you hit the Copy and Paste it somewhere, that'll give you this format, your private key, instead of the asterisks and your private key you will see your private key here as well as your public key make sure you save your private key offline in a safe spot in multiple places just in case you lose one copy and this is the public key we will be using here and here in order to create this account so let me go ahead and copy oh before before I do that I want to go ahead and save this key pair can't forget to save that key pair and scatter. So once you create it, just go ahead and click save. Once you create it and have copied it down, because once you leave this page, you'll no longer be able to get your private key. So this is your one chance to get your private key. Make sure you take it from here before you hit save using the copy feature here and paste it uh, onto a notepad or something to be able to copy it down. I am not saying save it in a notepad, just to copy it down and keep your private key offline in a safe spot because this is the only time you will have access to this private key. So go ahead and click save and send EOS to Rob. There is my new key pair with the public key, the public address EOS62GL, EOS62GL, there it is. So again, I'm going to take this public key and copy and paste that into both 
the owner public key and the active public key. And I need to give this account a name. And again, it was send EOS to Rob. So send EOS to Rob. And the default values are just what I'm going to use. It's going to take this amount of EOS in order to get the net stake, CPU stake, and the RAM purchase from this account, the creator account, the account that is connected, and place it into the new account. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Scatter should appear shortly to confirm this action. Your transaction will be sent to the network afterwards. And there we go. My scatter just popped up. You can look through this if you want. What it's going to do is create a new account, buy RAM, and delegate. So I'm going to just go ahead and click accept. Here is the transaction ID. And if we come over to EOS Tracker or any tracker, I'm going to paste in that transaction ID. And there's the actions of the transaction. Now let me open a new EOS Tracker. and look for the account send EOS to Rob June 25th 124.57 p.m. that's the time right now staked one EOS in CPU staked one EOS in network and the RAM I bought as well there so in total right now it costs around five dollars but it's just transferring EOS from one account to another so where is it here is the EOS account I used the EOS account that was connected to EOS toolkit.io H-E-Z-D-S-M-Z H-E-Z-D-S-M-Z and let me give this a refresh June 25th at 125 we delegated we bought RAM and created a new account there we go so this account just got point, 0.59 EOS less okay so just as a test transaction right now again you can see this EOS wallet send EOS to Rob that I just created has 0.5986 EOS in it so I'm gonna go back to toolkit EOS toolkit and use their transfer EOS function and send EOS to Rob is where I want to send a test transaction just do point zero zero one test transaction one so this is just going to be a test transaction from my account that I have connected here the account I used to create this new account I'm gonna send point zero zero one EOS as a test transaction this is just a test this does not need to be done uh, but I just want to show you that this account is up and working so click send my scatter will pop up here in a minute there we go scatter popped up here's the memo test transaction one the quantity 0 0.001 from my HEZ account to my new account send EOS to Rob except there's the transaction ID if you want to look at it but we'll just go back to the new account send EOS to Rob and take note of the value here 0.5986 0.5996 so you can see the value just increased by 0 0.001 that 0 0.001 I just sent over so this account is able to receive EOS now in order to control this account uh, through we're gonna have to set it up through scatter because I do want to send a test transaction from the account back to this account so come back to your scatter and this key pair we just created we need to attach it to an identity to be able to use it uh, with scatter so I'm gonna come up here create new 
new identity EOS mainnet and send EOS to Rob is the one I want to import here so import that and select the active key you selected account and click save so send EOS to Rob that is now attached to an identity in scatter so let me just come over here and now I want to connect to the send EOS to Rob the one I just created select identity there we go so now the sender is send EOS to Rob don't want him to be the recipient I want to send it back to I want to send it back to my just random character address H E Z D let's come over here paste that in and I'm just doing these test transactions to show you guys that I am able to control these accounts they are able to send and receive so I'm gonna send that point zero zero one back that from from send EOS to Rob to H E Z D we just sent it from H E Z D to send EOS to Rob so we're just doing the exact opposite now click send wait for scatter to pop up scatter just popped up so point zero zero one from from send EOS to Rob to H E Z D S M Z except just sent point zero zero one away from this account so we should go from point five nine nine six back down to point five nine eight six so let's give this a refresh point five nine eight six point five nine eight seven so it did send that point zero zero one and here's an action sent if we look at it it'll be that point zero zero one sent from send EOS to Rob to H E Z D so there you go that is setting up a new EOS account with a custom name using the EOS toolkit.io again scatter is needed for this and you just come down to create account and you're able to create an account once you've created a new public and private key through scatter because that is what you need a public key to attach to your new account name and like it says here 12 characters A to Z 1 to 5 I'm not sure if that's correct 1 to 5 but I would go by that right now I think it's 1 to 9 but they have 12 characters long A to Z 1 to 5 here so that's just what I'd go off of so again these accounts must be the standard 12 characters long this is just straight creating a 12 character name custom instead of a random string of 12 characters you can choose what that string of 12 characters is gonna be and again I didn't do anything I didn't mess with the net stake or CPU stake or RAM purchase I just used the defaults so I haven't tried anything else except for those but that is going to do it for this one, guys. I hope this helped you guys out, those who wanted to create a new account uh, with a custom name for their EOS. Again, this is using eostoolkit.io, and Scatter is needed for this. If you do have any questions, pop them in the chat below. If we get a lot of the same question, I will either jump onto a stream or do another video trying to help explain whatever the problem is that you guys are having. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. We got a bunch of good EOS videos coming out, as well as our normal crypto technical analysis and crypto news videos. So again, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. But that's going to do it for me in this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.